Yeah. Red FM Cork's hit music station. This is Dave Max Drive with the Mardike Entertainment Complex. Your five hits in a row, Cheryl I Don't Care, Pet Shop Boys, West End Girls, Calvin Harris with John Newman Blame, and the Sugar Babes about you now. Wait a minute, that's four. I said five hits in a row. Cork's Red FM. Hmm, what are we going to do? Oh, I know. How's about we get ourselves some live music in studio with the Riptide Movement? Woo! Thank you for being here in Red FM once again, gents. We have Jerry over here. Hello, Hello. Jerry. JP. Hello. Mal. Hello. And Gar. Hello. Together they are. We already did that. Uh, we were chatting to you guys last Thursday morning. That's uh, right. It was just, earlier. Ju- it was uh, considerably earlier, certainly for me, covering KC, who was a little bit poorly that day. You guys were fresh from playing the music trail element of the MTV Crashes Tour in Savoy Theatre, and you're back for a sold out joy show in Cypress Avenue tonight. That's right, yeah. And uh, actually, we've um, two places left on the guest list, so if two of your listeners want to come along. Hey, excellent stuff. Will we give them a question such as, oh, do you know the name of the Riptide Movement's third album, Getting Through That? Since I last spoke to you, I've had a chance to listen to it, and it's well, it's obviously very good. You know that. Yes, it's. No, it's not, yeah, I'm, not yeah. really, I'm not really telling we're, you anything you don't know. Am I? We're, we're happy with it, all right? Yeah, it's, no, it uh, sounds great. There's a rock and start with animals. Yeah. Uh, then is it looking through? Is track two? Uh, getting through. Getting through, or, and then you make your way through into the singles that we know all works out. You and I, which we're about to hear live. Uh, one of my favourite, Skin and Bone. It's yeah, no, it's a good listen. Short yeah. listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Short and sweet. Um, Did yeah. you want to add more songs to it? Uh, yeah, we had we had more songs, but they just didn't fit on it. Like the, it didn't didn't sit right with the rest of the album. So the whole album, we feel uh, the ten songs that are on it are cohesive, and it kind of runs. It's it's there's a common thread through all the songs. So and if you were trying to pitch that to someone or tell them like th- what that cohesive sound of the album is, how do you kind of how do you what words do you put on that? Um, well, yeah, because I was because I was listening to trying to think what 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 am I hearing kind of here? Is there is there an el- a tiny little element of folky kind of element to it? There's definitely folk in there. There's a bit of blues. There's a bit of. Uh, there's a bit of soul, I suppose, as well, yeah. uh, and there's a bit of indie in there as well. So mm. it's, uh, it's, I suppose our, our our first two albums would have been folky, country, bluesy, and I think all them elements are there. So it's definitely a riptoid movement album, but it's it's an album that it kind of it heralds our arrival, I reckon. You know. Well, as album three, you now have been signed. There is a bigger push behind you guys and everything else. Uh, not only have I listened to the album since I last spoken to you and very much enjoyed it, but I've also seen the questions that KC had laid out for me to say to you guys when you were in on The Breakfast Show last week, none of which I ran by you because I didn't even see them until you were gone. <laughs> Amongst them were KC suggesting that he is the first to have played you guys on national radio. That's right, yeah, yeah, we, uh, he gave us our first break. And, and, uh, and now he's looking for 23% cut. Yeah, I know, I, I, I heard that, yeah, we're, we're still uh, we're still in negotiations at the Good moment, we're thinking. He, he, he's a good negotiator, you, you want to get some, uh, you want to get some ar- uh, ammunition with you guys when you're in on those meetings. Yeah, there's you. a decimal point and a couple of zeros to be added Ooh. on the other side of that decimal hey. point. <laughs> he also mentioned that um, a lot of the way that you guys connected, particularly I suppose to a Dublin audience, or you guys being a Dublin band, was busking uh, over the years, right the way through the, the first two albums that you made. Yeah, definitely. Um, we, we 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 actually started busking when we released our first album and it was because we weren't really getting radio play and stuff and no one knew who we were so we decided to just take it out onto the streets and then you know see if people liked it for themselves and that's how we moved a lot of albums of, of the first debut album that's really kind of what got us going in the first place you know so busking and then uh, and then of course leading on to gigs then and then we released Keep It On and now we're on getting through three albums down and eight years in something you'd recommend to young bands starting up? Oh, 100% yeah definitely because uh it's even 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 for you know honing your live show as well. Like you're you're, you're sitting out there on the street and you're gonna you're open to all kinds of abuse. So you kind of have to learn fast. Uh, but, uh, but is it as well that you get to see the impact of the songs on like the whites of the people's eyes? Uh, d- yeah, definitely. And and then you kind of know what songs work and what ones don't. And we we had a we had a great little trick where we used to just play three songs and the the, the nice pro- a, a nice progression between the first and the third track and the crowd will be building and by the by the time the third song is uh, we played the third song like there'd be real like festival atmosphere on the street and then we'd stop they'd buy the albums turn the crowd and then start up again hey, 10 minutes later nice okay I so like we had it down man yeah, we, yeah we could have been on The Apprentice but you do have kind of sing along anthem type songs I mean All Works Out was used on a was it Discover Ireland or that's really False Ireland they're using at the moment yeah, yeah. Um, we played that a lot we are one of the radio stations in the country playing the next single you and I uh, a lot are, and it's, it's as good if not stronger than All Works Out cheers uh, man so that's part of us trying to support Irish music uh, and we're delighted to have you guys here in Studio Forest. Delighted that your show tonight in, is sold out in Cypress Avenue. And delighted that you guys being here playing this live track has won Julie Cowig 
a brand new Sony E3 and a six months Netflix subscription because Riptide Movement because you guys are today's suggested entertaining moment on Dave Max Drive yeah. do you reckon we've been sufficiently entertaining yet or do we need to throw well, we music could, into the mix yeah I think we can bring it up a notch ok let's do it in your own time Drive, your entertaining moment, as suggested by Julie Cowig, who's won herself a Sony E3 and a six months Netflix subscription with Vodafone and Netflix. Riptide Movement, thank you so much. Thank nice you. Hey. Red FM.